Hi, my name is John and welcome to Ask John D. Jones. Okay, so in today's episode I'm going to talk about how to upgrade to Umbraco 8. So there's a few steps involved and step one is to basically make sure that you're using all the latest uh, versions of Visual Studio, that you have uh, .NET 4.7.2 installed and that you have a copy of SQL Server. Now if you don't have any of these things, um, you get won't install properly, you won't get the upgraded packages and everything will fall over. Now obviously, you know, upgrading uh, Visual Studio, if you're using 2019, you don't need to worry. If you're using .NET Core again, you don't need to worry. If you've been sat around and living in a dark cave, then obviously you need to upgrade to the latest version of Visual Studio, just to make sure you've got all the packages. Now, when it comes to upgrading to Umbraco 8, it's a bit of a big jump. Now, first off, you can't just go from anything, I think under 7.9 or 7.10 up to 8. So the first thing you need to do is upgrade to the latest version of Umbraco 7. So a normal upgrade process is obviously go to NuGet, um, upgrade the packages to the latest version of Umbraco 7, whatever that is at the time of um, with, with the time you get there. Then uh, upgrade the packages, view the website. You'll probably have to go through the uh, installation and upgrade wizard. Go through there and hopefully if everything goes correctly, the site will upgrade. Now obviously at this stage, before you just go jumping up to 8, I would strongly recommend that you know the website works. So you might want to do this in a two split process. Um, I've been bitten a few times where I've just tried to run through and then when I've tried to upgrade to 8, what's actually happened is my upgrade to 8 has failed because the upgrade 7 failed and I didn't really test it properly because I was just in a hurry. Now one of the things that I definitely recommend that you do is that after you upgrade to the latest version of 7, open up the Umbraco backend, go to your document types and go through all the document types and just make sure that all your properties are okay, nothing's obsolete, you don't have any warnings because if the data types have changed and you've got some obsolete properties or anything like that, at that stage when you get to 8, um, the upgrade wizard is going to fail and when you do that, like it's just a pain because you're going to have to roll back, you have to go through the process again and you can waste a good couple of hours doing that. Now obviously the upgrade to Umbraco 8 is going to be quite a big uh, beast. So what you want to do is after you have a successful upgrade 7, you want to upgrade to version 8. Now upgrading to version 8 is obviously you go into NuGet, pull in the latest 8 upgrades and then um, pull in the changes. At this point it's very likely that all your custom plugins and all your custom code is going to break. So as part of this process before you can actually upgrade the Umbraco database to the version 8, you'll um, very much likely have to go through your code, comment every single line of code out potentially, um, you might have to disable all your plugins, but basically what you want to do, as soon as you upgrade to the version 8 plugins, before you try to actually install and upgrade the database, you basically just want to go through Visual Studio and you just want to uncomment, um, uncomment, comment even, out all your custom code and all your plugins. So the next step is obviously just keep hitting build and keep hitting build and build and build until it um, succeeds. Now at this stage I don't recommend that you try and fix any of the errors or just do anything clever. All you care at this stage is basically upgrading your Umbraco database to the version 8 version. Like if you uh, try and fix your code beforehand, you could just be there for weeks, you're going to end up wasting a lot of time and be um, very frustrated. Also, uh, I should have probably mentioned a few steps ago, before you upgrade to 8, uh, make sure you do a git commit. Um, you know, like everything when you're doing upgrades, you want to back up on very consistent, small, um, regular bases. It's very likely that, you know, upgrades fail, you forget to do something, and if you forget to back up, you potentially have to roll back to, you know, the very beginning and roll through the process again. Again, it's just one of those things that upgrading can be, like, really painful, and you just don't want to waste your whole time, you know, clicking in installers, waiting for progress bars to move. You just want to be able to roll back in the worst case scenarios as quickly as possible and move forward again. So after you've gone through your website, you've commented out all the custom code which is now failing, you've um, uncommented out and removed any obsolete plugins which don't work, it doesn't matter if your site can build or anything, all you want to do is basically get it to load and you want the site to be able to get um, to the upgrade wizard and run through. As soon as you get to the upgrade wizard, obviously, you know, click next, fill in your details. Um, hopefully, if everything goes well for you, the upgrade wizard will update and you'll um, get an upgraded database. After you get an upgraded database, then you've got the painful and slow journey of um, re-implementing your custom code. Now, if you've got a very small virtualware website where you haven't used too many plugins, this upgrade process might not be too painful. If you've got a massive website which has been uh, 
reliant on some massive plugins which are no longer supported in 8 or you've done something um, a bit custom then this upgrade process can take between you know days and weeks again it all depends on the size of your website and the complexity and the amount of customization so my tips um, as I said in a previous video is when you think about upgrading and re-enabling your custom code one approach if you only got a few breaking changes is to you know just uncomment those things and then crack on and just make a few changes if you have lots and lots of things which are, look like it's broken and you have a very complex and convoluted um, no, website the thing I would recommend you do is create a new class library and then page it a page copy the controller code into this new class library copy the view models copy any um, document types create any custom helpers and just copy the minimum that you need into the new class library make sure you get it working make sure you get the page working and then rinse and repeat this process until you have a fully working website at some stage when the website's working you can delete the old um, the old class library or all the old code that you had in your web route which I hope you haven't done but some people do and then after that you'll have a much cleaner code base because it would be a bit stripped out so anyway after you follow those steps you should have a successful um, Umbraco version 8 upgrade you can basically share it to your client you can share it to your boss they're gonna call you an absolute legend you can be the hero of um, town you can go for beers on a Friday night and after that life will be golden well anyway obviously upgrading to Umbraco 8 is a tedious process for some projects if you need a bit of hand obviously I'm a freelance web developer and um, get in contact that's the self pitch done Again, if you want to learn about Umbraco and if you want to become an absolute legend, hit the subscribe button. Um, yeah, I'm gradually growing the numbers. I don't really have a target anymore, but um, I really appreciate anyone who subscribes. Hopefully you learn some stuff out of Umbraco. Um, I also have a book. It's on EpiServer. I know some uh, Umbraco people will be like, boo, what are you doing? If you want to support this site or um, support this YouTube channel, go over the book you can buy for like five bucks. It's really cheap. It's all about Umbraco. It's taken me about a year to write. It's still in progress, but um, any support would be amazing. If you just want to get into Umbraco, you want to learn Umbraco a little bit more, there's a load of tutorials on my website. That's johndjones.com. So uh, J-O-N-D-J-O-N-E-S.com. If you go over there, there's a load of Umbraco 7 um, articles. I've written about 20 or 30 Umbraco 8 articles, which will be published um, from now on the oncoming months, because they're all scheduled. So if you keep going back, you should see a load of new Umbraco content, which will help you upgrade and just get a bit more of an understanding about you know, how Umbraco works. Aside from that, if you want me to um, answer a question in one of these videos for you, most of the questions uh, I answer are actually emailed or you know um, comments from these videos. So um, email me, again go to my website johndjones.com, there's a contact form, just fill that in, ask a question and uh, jobs are good. Un. So anyway, I hope you have a great time, I hope you have a great day and until next time, catch you later.